Okay, for this dish, you need oil in the pan. Let it get really hot. Then you need some chuletas, chops, okay, and pork chops. But these are called umadas, which are like, I believe, halfway cooked or something like that. I'm not sure. Just find the pink ones in the Mexican department. <laughs> okay. You go ahead and you put all your chuletas in there. You remember these are already half cooked, so you don't have to leave them in the fire too long. They get nice and colorful. It depends how many people you have in the house. Here we eat like eight of them. There's four of us, five of us. Well, four of us, but... Okay, do that first. You can put them on top if they don't fit. And then you can switch them one by one as they're... Answer. From they're ready from one side. Turn them over, and you can see these these didn't get nice and crispy. But that's because they're not in a deep pan. Um, I also put some aside here. This is how we like them when we eat them, just like that. But today I'm making a difference, so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that your chuleta looks nice like this. And then you can always put it in a different pan, but we're going to keep working on that. Put a tomatillo to toast, like this. Turn the fire on and make sure they get nice and toasted. You also find these in the market, and they're green. They're green, and they have a green wrapper. Take that off, wash them really good, and let those toast. Then you're going to go ahead and toast. If you have some dry peppers, like these, mm, they smell really good dry red peppers and if you have like um, these are called wajillo and these are called son chiles de japon Japanese uh, peppers so I have my dry ones I made my own dry ones with time they just get dry and they taste really good so go ahead and toast these also make sure that when you're toasting these they don't burn turn them around go like this go like that make sure they don't burn because if you get these burned you get a bitter flavor on your food Okay, and then toast some onion and one garlic together. You're going to put all this with the tomatillo. Remember, the tomatillo takes longer to toast, so that's why we put it before we put the peppers. You're going to go ahead and put all these in there, and then try to toast these at the end. So you'll do one by one or so. What you're going to do, this is one of my best secrets, is I go ahead and grind cominos, pimientas, y clavos. This is pimienta, this is clavos. These are cominos. And go ahead and grind that. If you have a morcajete, do it on that. If you have onion, it's going to be onion, garlic, and always add salt too. The salt will help it grind better. See? Nice. And this is what's going to give your food tons of flavor. And the delicious Mexican smell and Mexican flavor. We did this with tamales too, so I'll be putting those clips up in a little bit. <coughs> okay. Go ahead and grind that. Remember, if you don't have a rock this big, mocajete, you don't you don't have to do it. You can buy these in the store and they're already shredded, grind in little bags. But this is the best flavor you can get is when you make it yourself. You can smell the spices. Mmm, it smells delicious. Okay, we'll go into the next step. Peppers are still in low, low heat. Go ahead and toast your peppers. Okay. I'll do it with the napkin because they're spicy and I don't want my fingers tasting like chili all day. Okay. These chilies are not that spicy when you eat it though. It, they taste delicious. So make sure they get nice and toasted. These burgundy ones, you just got to see them get all nice and fluffy. And then they should be good. But the other ones have to stay in there and get really nice and toasted. Okay? And your tomatillos should look like this once they're 
they're uh, really well cooked. They shouldn't look like green. They should look yellow. They cooked on the pan for a little bit. Okay, go ahead and do this. And once you're done with this, you're going to put all the little chilies in here. But the big peppers, you're going to put them in a topper and you're going to soak them. Leave them soaking for like a minute so you can take the seeds out. And then you just put them all together in the blender after that. Go ahead and you rinse these peppers, dry peppers, uh, guajillos. And I took out the seeds inside, so just kind of crack it open and put them in there. I put the teaspoon of what I've, um, of um, this stuff that I did, the garlic and so on. And now I'm going to add this in there. And that's it. Blend that really nice. Make sure you add salt on there. And not add too much salt because the cocktails are going to have, um, they're going to be a little bit salty. Okay? While you blend that, go ahead and open two cans of these. These are called Doña Maria's Nopales Cactus. And I did two because I should have got one big can, but I thought one would be enough and I had an extra one. Go ahead and drain those. Drain them and wash it. After you took all the slimy thing out, Rinse them in the water and wash them again, and then just let it sit. And this is how they're going to look. They're going to look nice and um, dry. They're not going to be slimy. So your chuletas okay. look like this, really nice and smoky. Mmm. Then you're ready to add everything in there. Put up your volume, your heat. Then add the nopales that you drain. Remember, you got to drain them. And some of these have... Um, jalapenos in them, like this green pepper. It's not spicy, don't worry. Just gives a good flavor. Mm -hmm. Here's a smoking sound. And these cactus are really good. They don't taste like, kind of like, well, like the ones you make on your own. These are not as slimy and they don't take long to cook. They're already cooked. And they taste really, really good. Mmm. Okay, you mix all that up. And if you hear the sizzling sound, you're going to add the salsa. Remember, when you make the salsa, you might have needed some water. Add water when you're going to shred your chilies and your tomatoes, everything together. You have to add water because uh, these peppers are kind of dry. Okay, let me go add a little bit more water. See how thick it is? Let's add a little bit more water. Add a little bit more water, kind of wash it off. And it's got to be a little bit loose. So it'll get nice and thick as it cooks. And if you want to add a little bit of seasoning, go ahead and add a little bit more salt. But I would rather have you wait until they cook. And when they're cooked, um, they're going to boil a little bit. And all the flavors are going to mix. And then you'll know if you need to add salt because, like I, like I said, the cactus um, are salty. And they have to lose their flavors in there. Okay? So that's what's going to happen. Let that cook for like maybe five minutes. I'm going to add more water so you do the same. <coughs> oh, you do the same. It smells delicious. It's um, boiling. Four or five minutes after, it's going to look like this. And <coughs> the juice is going to look like it's dripping down. Mm. It smells delicious. And I'm going to go ahead and fry a can of beans in that. In this. No, you guys, please don't do that. Be patient. One more second. Give me one second here. Yeah, I found the can of We're going to go ahead and fry some beans. I'm craving black beans is what I'm craving. <laughs> some of these. I like homemaking them all the time, but I never homemake black beans, so... When I crave black beans, I just buy a can. Make sure you add oil and onion in the pan. And then you can add some seasoning if you want it to have like a whatever flavor you want. Some people add um, chili peppers in it, but I'm okay. I'm just, I just want the whole bean just like that. Because with my dish, it's going to be perfect. Okay, you guys, enjoy. I hope you liked it. Try it sometime. Cook it. And remember, this could be done in 10-15 minutes if your chuletas are fried. Okay, bye.